Hi, welcome to ASUS Australia YouTube channel. I'm Richard and I'll be your host for today. I'm here to share with you a little bit about our newly released ROG Strix GTX 1070 Ti. Over the years, the Strix series graphics card surprised the world with its innovative pattern Windblade Zero DB fan technology that makes your gaming system fast and quiet. We also have Auto Extreme technology which ensures high precision production quality, which as a result yields better overclocking capabilities and longevity of your card. What will we expect from the latest GTX 1070 Ti? Well, let's check it out. First and foremost, it is of course its performance. Despite it being parked at default clock out of the box, you can easily switch to its inbuilt advanced clock mode for its instant boost to 1759 MHz with a simple click of a button in our software GPU Tweak 2. The GTX 1070 Ti guarantees you with the top-notch gaming performance for your investment. Most of the weight of the card is relocated to the left-hand side of the card, towards the back of the I.O. The reason for this is to balance out most of the weight towards the back. And this helps reduce the torque from the far end of the card, ensuring the card can be securely with the chassis screws. It is also sandwiched with both the back and the inner metal plate, ensuring the card stands horizontally at all times without the concerns of card sagging. This new design helps to prevent physical conflict with compact chassis that have narrow side panels. Featuring ASUS exclusive max contact technology, the heatsink offers two times better contact than conventional heatsinks for optimal heat transfer to all new Strix 2.5 slot cooling with 40% more heat sink surface area for dramatically cooler and quieter performance. There are also two additional ASUS Fan Connect 2 headers featuring fan calibration support. This enables you to connect to front chassis fans and have them managed with respect to the change of GPU temperature in the most precisely managed fan curve possible. This is rather useful for water cooler users to have the radiator fans to respond to the change of GPU temperature rather than the CPU as well as better management of airflow inside the chassis. For more information, I'll leave a link down below and you can check out our ASUS website. Well, that's it from me and I'll see you next time.